Hey guys, um, I guess this is a bit of a unnatural thing that I'm doing for today, but at the same time, this is something that I kind of wanted to talk about and that I felt like it really, really needed to be. So, my Gmon animations. Um, where have they been? That's what you all are obviously asking. And I honestly can't answer that question well I, I can't I won't say I can't answer that question myself it's more of that um oh, whatever I'll, I'll get into it later but um before I actually get into it let me just explain a few things first um it's no surprise that I've been very inactive with my Gmod animations last year in 2018 I think I put up about like eight different Gmod videos, Gmod Splatoon videos, and all that types of stuff. Like, two of them were Q&As, and six of them were, like, a part of the uh, Twisted Side series that I'm working on. And then here we are in 2019, where I've uploaded, like, two, I think, and only two. And I think there's a reason to that. And I know you, and I know some of you guys are probably going to be thinking like, oh, well, it's probably because, you know, you're doing a lot of your 1v1 videos and, you know, you're doing your gameplay videos and you're doing all a bunch of other stuff that we don't care about. Honestly, I don't think that's the case because think about it this way. Technically, I've also been doing that type of stuff last year as well. I've been uploading gameplay videos of like all sorts of kind they actually had effort put into it and i was actually posting gmod animation videos and like the like last year for me was like the golden age it was that age of time where it's like it was clearly my best and this year is definitely not i mean i can i mean i am happy that this year has been the um the growth year like we went from like 3,500 to currently nearly 9,000 in about, what is it, nine months? So I guess I'm happy for that, but that doesn't change the fact that the type of content I've been trying to put out just isn't the same as last year. And no, I'm not trying to say 1v1s are just poo-poo garbage and I should get rid of them from the face of the earth and that's why that it sucks even though I will admit 1v1s have slowed down my content a bit, but I don't think that's the prime reason to why my Gmon animation videos are not out at all. And I think the answer is a bit more complex than that, or a bit more complex. I don't think it's because I'm unmotivated to work on them, it's more of that I'm discouraged to work on them. I mean, I don't know if that kind of counts as the same thing as demotivated or unmotivated or whatever but I've been feeling discouraged a lot from doing my Gmon animations and a lot of you guys are probably thinking of why and the answer is it's not because of uh, it's not because of just genuinely how hard it is it's more of just that um, how others how others outside of the Splatoon Gmon community view it and I haven't gotten a lot of great results from that. So, I don't know when this was. It was actually, I think, um, early this year. Where I have heard some of my in real life friends, they've watched one of my Q&A videos. I think it was my third one. And the only thing I got was, uh, hey buddy, this was kind of cringy. I think you should do something different, or you shouldn't just do them at all. And even though it was just that one, well, oh, actually, no, it wasn't just that one comment. It actually turned into an illegitimate argument about like, hey, can you give me some credit over the fact that, you know, I'm trying to do something like this. My problem was I got absolutely zero credit for the fact that I've tried to make them. It's not because it's also cringy. It's also that what it's also what it is compared to other types of of animated content like um, Devil Artemis, for example, who makes his cell verses since my unreal friend watches a lot of that. And he's like, yo, man, how can this guy animate for seven hours and get a one minute and 30 second video uploaded in one day versus you who gets like maybe five, 10 minute animated videos uploaded after like a whole month? And my answer is, it's just for me, I'm pretty sure GMI animating is harder than SFM animating, but that didn't change his mind. And... Not just the fact that um, 
my in real life friend has kind of discouraged me from working on Gmon animations. It's also well after that I've kind of been thinking, okay, so if if he kind of has a completely different point of view about my Gmon animations, then what about practically everyone else in the public eye? Like, okay, when was the last time you've shown someone one of my Gmon animations that I've made since last year and they said, ooh, pretty good. I like it, giving this man a sub. You probably haven't, at all, or maybe never. Or maybe you have, but they're secretly just liking the community. That's my main issue. I just, I don't see how my Gmon animations can reach to more people than just people in this community. Because I think the only people that watch these are the people that are in this community and the people that are subscribed to me. And my problem is, it's very isolated. I mean, even though my gameplay videos aren't making a difference, except for like maybe my top two most popular gameplay videos, but it doesn't change the fact that it feels like it's isolating its viewers a bit. And then the people that are outside of those two things I named out would probably not like it or think it's cringy and then not like it. And then it kind of just goes into a multiple different categories of why they don't like it. And, and not just the fact that the public eye may not see it the same way I want to see my Gmon animations, but it's also what's been happening recently in this community. After I've made that video of where I was doing my little quote-unquote cry out about the fact that the Gmod and SFM Splatoon community has been dying again, and then people are telling me to calm the freak down because it's clearly not... After that video, a lot of other things have happened. And I mean a lot. I don't know if you're watching this Geocraze. I don't know why I keep calling you that, but I'm just going to call you that. I don't know if you're watching this, the Canadian Spartan. But oh my goodness, a lot has been going on between you two. And I mean a lot. Maybe not as much for you, uh, the Canadian Spartan, but like, whew, a lot has happened. First, okay, like, last year, you know, we have Heavy the Squid, Omega the Squid, and yeah, that's actually it. And then now this year, we have um, Brian Jackson II. Geoff Craze, technically, and I, I don't want to say the Canadian Spartan, but in a bit of a way, the Canadian Spartan, I say a little because his situation a, is a lot more complicating than, you know, the other four, but they all kind of have the same central idea. It, it kind of something with harassment, and I again, I say a little bit from the Canadian Spartan because he does not try to get in any of that. But it happened, so that's why I'm kind of including it on the list. It kind of counts. Because there's a difference between being tricked into pedophilia and intentionally doing pedophilia. And that's my main issue. Just a lot of a lot of things have happened in this community, and I'm honestly just no longer for sure if I should keep going. And then now, okay, not just the fact that a lot of, of, you know, things have happened in this community, but going back to the whole, like, uh, in real life friend cringy thing that I was talking about, after that, I've been thinking about my uh, Two Enemies series, or my Two Enemies quadrilogy, if, you, if that's how you call it, and I've been thinking about how in any way could I ever improve of it. And the best way I thought about was just writing, is actually writing a script instead of just going with the flow. Since it, even though it works, it doesn't work in the sense of way I really want it to work. Like it doesn't work in a way where everyone can watch it and be entertained. I want it to work in a way where everyone can watch it and be entertained. My problem is, now that I've started it, it's put way more stress on me. And it's that also, I guess counts as being unmotivated but I feel like that also counts as being discouraged because it's just a now it's a lot more hard because now I actually have to run off of something instead of just going with the flow and see what may work and what may not work 
and now that I have a script, it's kind of been killing me a lot. And I don't know what to say to that. Obvious, I, I, okay. I guess just to leave it a bit on a bright side, I am working on my GMI animations. I do have part three. I think it's actually almost completed technically. I don't actually know. I might have to look at the script a few more times to see how close I am. But I think in a lot of ways I'm still far from complete. But other than that, um, you'll get it October, but I just wanted to make this real quick, like, video on, like, hey, where have my, you know, Gmon animations been, and, um, why they're not coming out frequently. I, I guess it's not, it's not because of the fact that I'm also busy, it's just that I'm discouraged a lot more than busy, because every moment I possibly could have on working on my Gmon animations, I don't take advantage of it. Like, I think there were, like, let me, actually, let me see this real quick. I'm pretty sure there were, um, like, weeks separate that I haven't worked on this. Like, for example, I started the project on June 8th, the, the third part of, um, okay, the third part of Two Enemies. I started this on June 8th, and then there was, and then when I reached to, okay, I reached to June 12th and there was a legitimate break off till like June 28th and then when I hit June 29th there was another break off until July 9th and then when I hit and then there was just a bunch of these other days where I kind of just stopped and go stopped and go and then there was another break off at July 30th to August 12th and then there was another break off at August 15th to August 26th and then there was another break off of September 1st to today. So I've been taking weeks, weeks off of what could have been spent at least animating for like an hour. Just an hour. I've just, I've been very discouraged and very unmotivated. I mean, again, unmotivated isn't the direct answer. I feel like it's discouraged. Because of this discouragedness, I've just... I don't want to work just to make something look better and then have other people say it doesn't look any better or it isn't better. And that's my that's that's my main issue with it. So that's why my uh stuff has been slowing down. And again, I have also been pretty busy for like the past few months after summer. But, um, I've just, very, I've just been very unmotivated. And that's also why I don't want to take requests, or I don't want to, uh, I don't want to take requests, or I don't want to write for other, or, not write, I don't want to animate for other people, I don't want to do anything extra for anyone else, I don't want to participate in collabs, I don't want to take requests, I don't want to do anything related to helping other people with animating, because then it just puts a lot more on my shoulders and then at that point instead of working for myself I'm working for others and even though that's even though that's the point of some other things but when you work for others and then not get paid there's a difference there's a huge difference especially when it comes to animating because then it just gets stressful and then it just becomes tiresome then it becomes frustrating and then it just drives you nuts and then you just want to quit and then you never want to talk to that person again. Just like that. That's why I never animated for anyone else. That's why I've never done any coll Well, I, maybe I've done some collabs, but I've never done like animate. I never animated a clip for a collab. Because I know that if I do that, many others will ask, hey, can you do that for me? And I'll just, just give the same answer. No thanks. Never ever. <sighs> okay. I hope you all understand what I'm talking about, because I am not going to repeat myself again. But, um, that's why my, uh, stuff has been slowed down a lot. I just find it discouraging to work on it. I just don't find a light in working on them anymore. That doesn't mean I'll stop. It just means I won't find the joy in working on them anymore. Last year, I did. Last year, I was like, 
yes, this is cool. I actually like this because I get many attention on it. But this year, even though I still do get attention on it, I can see the negative attention to it. And I don't like that at all. And again, working really hard for the scripting my next, all my next uh, Gmon videos so that I can hope that they actually be better. Because, again, discouraged. Or they're just cringy or whatever. I'm, I'm just going to stop right now. I've already gone on a rant, even though this is a rant, in a way. I've been doing this for 16 minutes. I, I better stop. I'll see you all later. October, I guarantee, I, I promise you, October, I'll do everything I can to get it out there. And I'll see you guys in whatever we do next. Take care. God bless you guys. And now that we're here, let me tell you something. Finding the right path is easier than finding the right ropes. Because finding the right ropes involves finding the right people. And when you find the right people, then you can climb that rope. And when you climb that rope, you'll find better success than finding the right path. Don't get discouraged if people have told you they don't like this or they don't like that or they find this cringy and they find that cringy. Do what you do best. And if you like it, then maybe others may like it too. Not everyone has to be on the same boat. Just enough people can be on the same boat. Enough people.